copyrights. Copyright, copyright, whatest art thou copyright? Copyright? I thought this would be all about me. Cheryl, do you know what copyright is? No, Daryl, I do not. Do you know anything about copyright, Felicia? Not a clue, Jerome. Copyright for me? Uh, well, copyright is a legal right, but it's different depending on the country. So be careful what you put on YouTube. In order for the material to be protected by Australian law, it has to be dramatic, literary, musical, or um, artistic work, a sound recording, film, broadcast, or published edition. Once an artist's idea has been written down, or their artistic work has been created, then there is automatic protection of that material. <laughs> wow, impressive. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Just because, Polonius, one is a student such as I am, it's not open slather, you know. Wisest thing you've said this long dreary year, my prince. One should always appropriately acknowledge one's sources. Like in an essay, for example. You cannot simply pass off the work of others as your own, as that would be against moral rights and copyright law. Anyway, Hamlet, you can look this up yourself. Like, if you wrote a TV show, and I recorded it and showed it to people for a fee, You'd be pissed off, wouldn't you, Shazzle? Yeah, I would, Daggles. I'd give you a good whack across the head. You'd be ripping me off. So if I ran some group training sessions here, I could play whatever music I like, can't I, Felicia? No, Jerry. I've been doing a bit of reading about copyright since we last talked. You would have to deal with copyright if you were using others' music. Like in gym classes. Most likely you'll have to pay a fee. <laughs> it's not open slather! So what exactly does it mean when you say it's not an open slather? Well, I mean, you can't just make use of someone else's work willy-nilly. Yeah, I suppose not. This could be love. Wonder how much he knows about copyright. Galleon swordplay, my fair knight. <laughs> oh, yes it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Those dirty English had it coming. <laughs> Fair dealing, Banquo, in a copyright sense, means to be both fair to the author of the work and the person using the author's material. Oh, I'm glad that you clarified that, Syrah. I thought it was only about the author. Oh, not only, good man. Both parties have benefits. <sighs> oh, look. Three old hags standing round a cauldron. Oh, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. <laughs> Now, if I wrote a book... <laughs> if you could write a book, Daryl, I'd be able to sing like Beyonce. Well, anyway, Shizzles, if I did write a book, like I thought to Jim and Daryl, you wouldn't just be able to go and photocopy the whole thing of the library. Why not? It'd be a lot cheaper. Why not? How in the hell am I supposed to sell heaps of copies if 
everyone can just go to the library and copy the bloody thing. Photocopying up to 10% of the number of pages or a chapter, even if it's over 10%, is what the law says is okay. It's fair dealing. As long as you're using it for study or research, of course. You're not really thinking of writing a book, are you, Daryl? Oh, you never know. <laughs> only 10%. Yes, Jerry, that's what I've read. Generally, you're only allowed to photocopy 10%, or a chapter of a book for your own research or study. So, if I wanted to use more than that, I'd really have to buy the book? Uh, depends on what you want in the end. The book to have in your bookshelf, or you can borrow it from the library, read it and take notes. You can quote a small part, like in a sentence from a book, or in a piece of writing, if you acknowledge where the quote came from. Fairness to both the author and the user. Fairness to both the author and the user. Fairness to both the author and the user. Hey, did you see those two people, like, in the rowing machines by the lake? Yeah. Why didn't they just row on the lake? <laughs> Beats me. It's <laughs> strange. Anyway, what were you saying about my essay? Oh, well, basically, um, fair dealing means that you can quote somebody else's work, like a sentence, but you have to acknowledge where it came from. If you still don't understand, you can just ask your lecturer. Selfie. Copyright is a legal right. It's not open slather for students. Acknowledge your sources. Don't photocopy a whole book, no more than a chapter. Isn't it funny that we can play music in my backyard? And it's fine, but as soon as I go to a park, I have to shell out a fee. Well, it's all about copyright. I mean, the people who create the work deserve some credit for it. When then we can pay for it and use it for our own personal reasons. But what you can show or use in a classroom is different to what you can do on a street corner. Anyway, cheers. Why? Well, it's our three-month anniversary. And they said we wouldn't last. Yes, I checked it all out. What? I do have to pay a licensing agency such as APRA if I want to use music in my gym classes. And then they pass on the money to the artist that created it. I told you, it's the law. Friends, students, Australians, lend me your ears on the matter of copyright. What is permitted in the home or the classroom is different to what is allowable in a public forum. Forum, do you? Get it? Anyway, for example, I could sing you a popular song in my parlour at home and that is fine. But if I were to sing that song in front of a public audience, then copyright comes into play. You will have to pay a fee which gets passed on to the artist who wrote the song. Always check with an authority before using the music of others. <laughs> Another one. Pretty funny, aren't they? I wouldn't have believed it, Daggles. I know. Me writing a book. Big Daryl's funny stories, that's what I'm going to call it. What's that you got there? It's on this. Ah, oh, it's Big Jeffrey's Humorous Tales. Just trying to get an idea of what might work. Well, why don't you just take a couple of stories and change the name and stuff? Can't do that. Why not? You've had a couple to me. I thought they were hilarious. Yeah, getting sued would be great, Cheryl. It's always good to do the right thing. I done my research and putting forward the work of another person as your own. It's called plagiarism. No good. I feel a lot calmer now. Whenever I'm worried about copyright, I can just simply ask questions. I could check up with my teachers or a copyright expert. There's even a difference with what I can show in a classroom, like using a film for a classroom presentation, compared to what I can do in a public space. I need to be careful, but there's no reason to freak out. 
Copyright. Now you get it.